here we are going to find the critical numbers for this function. So of course, we are going to first do the derivative and then set equal to zero. But for this one, we also have to worry about where the derivative is undefined. So be really careful with this. Here we go. h prime of t for the derivative. Well, we are going to first bring the number, the power to the front and then minus one. Just the power rule is okay, right? So first, 3 over 4, t, this minus that is negative 1 over 4. At the next, bring the 1 over 4 to the front, multiply with 2, we get 1 half, and that's a negative. And then we have t, and then 1 over 4 minus 1 is negative 3 over 4. Alright, and now, if you set this to be 0, mm, no, don't do it like that. We are going to combine the fractions first. Why a fraction? Because we have the negative exponents. So let me write this down for you guys first. This part is the same as 3 over 4, and then we write t to the 1 over 4 on the bottom, like this. And then minus 1 over 2, and put this down on the bottom, we get t to the 3 over 4 power. Now, we need the same denominator. Here we have the number 4, and here we have the number 2. So that means we have to multiply this by 2 and 2. So that way we get a 4. And here we have t to the 1 over 4. But this is t to the 3 over 4. So how many more t do we need? Well, we need to have t to the 2 over 4 power. Because remember, when we multiply, we'll just add the powers together. So 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4 does give us the 3 over 4 power. And of course, we do the same thing on the top. So t to the 2 over 4. OK. On the bottom, they have the same denominator, which is 4. And then we'll write it as t to the 3 over 4 power. All right. And then for the top, the first term is this, which is 3. And then we have t to the 2 over 4, which is the same as 1 half, which is the same as square root. So this right here is the same as square root of t, and then minus 2, all right? So this is what we have. Now, we are going to set this to be 0 for the critical number. And when we have a fraction, once we set equal to 0, we are going to just say the top, which is 3 square root of t minus 2. We look at that to be 0. And let's focus on this one right here first. Bring the 2 to the other side, and then divide the 3 on both sides. We see, well, let me just show you guys real quick. So 3 square root of t is equal to 2. Divide the 3. So square root of t is equal to 2 over 3. And then square both sides. So we get t equals 4 over 9 after we square that. And a lot of people just stop right here. But technically, when we are trying to find the critical numbers, we are also going to look at the denominator. This time, we also have to see where the function is undefined. So where the derivative of the function is undefined. So we also have to put this to be 0 and then solve it. So this right here will tell us. I don't know why I did that. 4 t to the 3 over 4 power. We also have to set it equal to 0. And this is when this is 4. Uh, h prime of t being undefined. Undefined. And you might be wondering, how come sometimes, especially in the previous video, we also have the denominator, but how come we didn't bother to set the equal to 0 and then solve it? Well, that was a rational function to begin with. For this one, if you look at this right here, it was not a rational function. And we end up with a rational expression for the derivative. So be sure you set equal to 0. And this is, again, for the, function, for the derivative being undefined. Can we solve this? Yes, divide the 4 on both sides, t to the 3 over 4 being equal to 0. And then the only way to make this true is t is equal to 0. Right, 0 to the 3 over 4 power is equal to 0. Now, check this out. When we have 0, we cannot put it into the derivative because otherwise we get a 0 on the bottom. So the derivative would be undefined. And when we put 0, into the original, that's actually legitimate, 
right? Zero is actually in the domain of the original function. It's just zero to the three over four power minus two times zero to the one over four power, which is just zero. Whenever the number works for the original but does not work for the derivative, you also have to include that for the critical numbers. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll write this down right here. Critical numbers, we have two of them. The first one is t equals 4 over 9, and then the second one is t is equal to 0. So be really careful with this one, alright? And that's it.